Even though the Data Viewer is a FileMaker Advanced feature, this is the perfect time to introduce you to it. We're going to talk about FileMaker Advanced in the next chapter, but I want to use the Data Viewer for this calculation that's going to filter our phone numbers. And let me tell you why. So if we go to the Tools menu and choose Data Viewer, again you have to have FileMaker Advanced, there's two sections, Current and Watch. Current is going to be used with your script debugger which we'll cover in the next chapter. The watch section is like a cocktail napkin. You can put together calculations before you put them into Manage Database or a script or anywhere else in the program. You can test them out here much more easily and I'll show you why. We're going to hit plus. We're going to come in here and we're going to play around with the filter function. We're going to say filter and we'll find our phone field. We'll do phone mobile and we'll type in this. What this does is says keep everything that's inside the quotes. So if we look at it now and monitor it, you'll see that it's removed the dashes. No matter what I type in here, if it's not a number, it's going to remove it. You see it stays the same response here. Just numbers. That's how I can get just the numbers because what I want to do here is I want to filter the phone number field so I can reformat it to a format that is consistent across all of the records. So when you print out they all look consistent. When you look on the screen they're all the same. Just makes it much easier for the user. So there's some important things to know about the filter function. If you take off the quote you may or may not get the same results. In this case you'll see that what happened is the zero goes away. Why? Because this is valid entry but because we began with zero it's not really a number. You can see as soon as we put the zero at the end it works fine. So my suggestion is always put it in quotes and that way you won't have to worry about this type of problem. And then once we have this we're going to copy this to the clipboard and we're going to put everything back together. We're going to assume a 10 digit phone number so we're going to do left semicolon three close paren. So that's going to take the first three characters starting from the left. That will be the area code. So what we'll do with that is we'll put that surrounded by parentheses. And then I'll put an extra space after that parentheses. A couple returns. Then I'll do the middle function. I'll paste what I have in the clipboard. I want to tell it to grab starting from the fourth character grab three characters including the fourth character so that should be the next three characters. It's important to remember that the middle function isn't the start and the end it's the start and how many characters from that starting point. Then we'll do the right function paste grab the last four characters starting from the right and we should be good to go. Let's see what it says. Evaluate now. And so we have a perfectly formatted phone number. And as you see, as we go through the records, we can validate that against other phone numbers and see if it works correctly. If you have put it right into Manage Database, you'll go, oh, there's something wrong with that. I've got to go back into Manage Database, try to make the change. OK, come back out. Does it work? Go back in. If it's a script, you have to run it. It goes through it all the time and keeps you know, keep running it. It might be some other things you do. And it, you know, it, it might not work, and then you have to try it again. In here, you just get simply to test it. You go, okay, it worked great. Now I can put it somewhere where it matters. The other thing we're going to do here is put in the let function. Now the let function is pretty interesting. It allows you to declare variables inside of a calculation. So we're going to call this one numbers. So we're declaring that numbers or at numbers equals this. And then we'll put a close parenthesis here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take this at numbers and anywhere we see that piece of code, we're going to put it right there in place of it. So I'm just pasting it right over it. And already you can see how much easier it makes your code to read. Let's evaluate, make sure I've done it correctly. Looks like I made a mistake here, no big deal. Take that F out, evaluate it. So you can see it's still giving the same result, which is great. 
So not only does it make it easier to read, it also makes it easier to update. If you have to update this piece of code right here, you don't have to do it in three spots the same thing. You just do it in one place. It's also faster. It may not make a difference in all calculations, but now we're evaluating this piece of code once and not three times. So the let function is really great. It often makes your job much easier, even if you're just declaring a field up here. It makes your life much easier. For instance, we could do this. At phone equals, copy that, paste that in there put a semicolon, put a close bracket here. Now notice that once I get two declarations, I have to have the square brackets here. And then what I'm going to do is take at phone and use it right in here. So what this does is it makes it really easy. I go, okay, I'm going to use this in another calculation in another database. This is not the same field reference, but it, since it's in the let right at the beginning, it makes it really easy to find it especially if you were referencing this field, let's say, 20 or 30 times inside the formula down here, you could change it in one place and all the references would be updated. So it's a bit like modular coding as well. So this is pretty cool. We've got a formula here. Let's try it out. It's not quite done, but we're getting there. So I'm going to copy it to the clipboard, monitor it, close this, go into Manage Database, go to my phone mobile, double click on it. We're going to do an auto enter calculation. We'll paste right in there. I'm going to make one small change here. We don't need customers here. Why? Because customers is right here. It knows the context here. It didn't know in the data viewer, but it knows here. So we should take this out. We'll click OK. And very importantly, we need to uncheck this option right here. If we don't, what will happen is it'll never format it because it'll say, oh, there's some data in there, I can't do the auto enter. But when you uncheck it, it says, okay, I can replace it anytime I want, and anytime it gets modified, I'm going to go ahead and reevaluate it. So let's see it work here. What I'm going to do is type in a really simple phone number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, so you can see exactly what happens. As soon as I tab into another field or click out, it should format it. And I did the wrong phone number here, so let's go to the correct one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Kind of anticlimactic because nothing happened there. But now you see that it formatted it correctly. Did a really, really nice job here of putting it into the right format. And no matter how many times I modify it, it's going to go ahead and reevaluate it. And, and once I've exited the field, it's going to format it for me. So that's pretty cool. But I'm going to change one more thing. I'm going to go to Manage Database, go to my phone mobile, and change this to the self function. Self simply says, in this case, self, meaning the field that we're referencing here, the field we're working on in case phone mobile, you can see it right up here, just says refer to this. So now what I've got is a completely adaptive formula here. There's no references to fields, so I can copy it to the clipboard come over to my phone work, paste it right in there, no changes, uncheck that to make sure it works correctly, and now this should work. As soon as I take at least one character modified, it will go ahead and reevaluate it and format it.